That was disgusting. Uh, hello, ladies, ladies, and every lady in between that, and welcome on into the video. And no, that wasn't an error. This video is for the girls, okay? We're talking about the things that the girls like. Because I recently stumbled across a band called Girly Girl Productions on my perusing of the interwebs, also known as Elon's Hell site. And I recently stumbled across this band. I call it a band with these two little jiggly fingers on each side because I don't think a beating heart was behind a single part of the creation process behind any of these songs. I listened to the first one and I might need an ambulance but of course I thought that I should share the psychic damage with you guys so we're gonna listen to some of their music as well as dig into the rabbit hole of, of who this is because I need to know who to throw the blame at so I can enact my revenge in some way shape or form because I'm still in I feel physical pain like I almost I need help. But without further ado, let's enact the reaction screen for reacting reactors and turn on the lyrics for this song, this first song called 10 Drunk Cigarettes, which I would argue is the worst one, which I can say with zero confidence because it's the only one I've listened to so far. But let's just play it. Girls don't need men. They Barbie don't. don't need Ken. Barbie doesn't need Ken. Us girls are doing fine on our own, so if you're a man, leave us alone. Yes. That's a part of my plan. That's a part of their plan. And I can name ten things us girls need before we ever need a man. Now brace yourself, because these ten things, I'm gonna need you to note these down. If you have a significant other that you care about and an upcoming anniversary, birthday, or any special day, I recommend possibly getting her one of these ten things, or all of them. But you're gonna be spending a lot of money on cocaine. One new bake, two lines of coke, three drinks from That's the bar, <laughs> four more lines of coke. That's six lines of coke now. Six six of my blind. Some weed. 13 lines of coke. Seriously, I don't need anything from a man. Not a thing. Not a thing. Actually, maybe give me some money. Okay, one thing. Money. money Never mind, I don't need money. I want money from okay, I do want money. Getting girls rich. Yes. And back to the chorus. <laughs> you understand what I meant by psychic damage now? Are you feeling it? Because my brain is jelly. There is something so hilarious about an AI band, right? Like a band that was put together specifically with the intent of trying to get the attention of Gen Zers and the chillins, right? And the whole idea was, let's make our primary focus of most of our content cocaine. You know what the kids like, vaping, the marijuana, and you they love that cocaine. Mostly cocaine. They're actually very, very fond of it. Troublingly so, actually. Put that in the AI. Tell it to do that one. And speaking of cocaine, let's play their next popular song called Coked Up Friend Adventure. I can't quite grasp what the topic of this song might be, but there's no lyrics for it, so you're only going to get a listening ear shot full of it. Your ears full, filled with it. Cocaine in your ears. Don't put it there. This is the same beat, but slowed down from the first one. Hello, world. I'm a girl. I love girly things. Hair, makeup, fashion, sparkly diamond rings. Bars. Being a girl is Surely so they won't bring fun, up cocaine. But I need some cocaine. Do you have some? I love doing cocaine with my friends. Dude, Coked what? That's the title! That's the tits in the title! How do these girls plan to feel any of the alcohol or mare of Jaina in their system if they have enough cocaine going through their bloodstream to kill an elephant? However, I have not heard this one yet, so let's actually give it a longer listen than the first 24 seconds. Will it? I love glitter. Glitter. Pink. Oh. I am a girl. I love pink. <laughs> we're really like, with they put new AI, what do girls like? Oh, pink? Oh, they like pink and glitter. Oh, and cocaine. Mainly coke. A lot of coke. A lot of cocaine. Being a girl is so much fun. You said that already. You said that already. Do you have some? No! I love doing Coked up friend adventure is not a sentence I ever needed to, wanted to, or expected to hear within my lifetime, but you know what? God damn it, we're here. And so is Curtly Girl Productions. I'm actually genuinely curious if any of these songs don't talk about cocaine. This one's called Vape Girl. Does Vape Girl talk about cocaine or is vaping? Girl power. We can Girl do power. Anything. Girl That's true. Power by my own wedding ring. You bought your own wedding ring. Twirl. Always be kind when you speak my mind. I, I have something I need to say. Yeah? I have something I need to say. Spit it out. I love taking 
taking hits of my best friend's vape But I'll never buy my own I love taking hits of my best friend's vape You know, it's funny because people could actually relate to this one Because for the love of God, they're not talking about cocaine For a change What, an, what a refreshing breath of air I'm a vape queen on my vape phone <laughs> I'm sorry did you just say, I'm a vape queen on my vape phone? Was that a sentence that she just stated? Because <laughs> that made absolutely zero sense. I'm pretty sure there is more instances of the word vape than there are words that aren't the word vape in this song but thank god they're not talking about cocaine let's skip like 30 seconds forward if they like m m magically bring up cocaine i'd be shocked I'm a girl. yeah they're just saying the same goddamn thing over and over again let's try notes app girl i need something different none of these have lyrics either Girls of the world. Shakespeare was a girl. Girl i don't Whatever. You do have a way with your words. I listened to Vape Girl and got a really good instance of that. A girl writing in her notes app is her magical power. Okay. Okay, this one actually is like the only song so far that I've listened to and thought like someone would listen to this and be like, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I write in my notes app. I'm a girly girl. Girls can be black and- Wait, races exist? Alright, I'm gonna finish up with Girly Secret, and then we're gonna dig into who these people might be. Because <laughs> the picture for Girly Secret, by the way, is a Barbie in prison that was definitely not AI-generated. So this is definitely gonna be a banger. Like, brutally murdering someone. I'm a girly girl with a girly secret. If I tell it to you, promise that you'll keep it. I promise. I'll tell you now. My okay. little secret is- She's in ISIS? That wasn't funny. Don't, don't, don't laugh at that. What? Why would you hide a body in a pink glitter van? <laughs> There's like one of one of those. <laughs> That'd be the easiest thing for the police to find. No! What is it with them and twirling? They've said twirling in three different songs so far, but also you murdered someone? <laughs> I guess I kind of expected seeing this coming. I love being a girl. Okay. I'm a girly girl. She kind of sounds like GLaDOS at the end of Portal 2. Do you guys hear that? Because <laughs> I hear it. With a girly secret, if I tell it to you, promise that you'll keep it. Okay, she's repeating herself. I swear, dude, if I'm sitting and like I'm on the aux with my buddies, which I normally am, and this comes into my mix, I'm moving to Alaska and cutting all contact with every human being I know. <laughs> I've ruined my Spotify algorithm permanently. But moving on, I wanted to figure out who these folks might be, and I figured out a few new things. As alongside an interesting little crackpot theory, the crackpot theory is a little small and probably not true, that people believe it might be Danny Gonzalez that they talk about on r slash Danny Gonzalez. But what I also found was the Girly Girl Productions official website. And from what I've learned here, they represent composers. Girly Girl Production releases great music, which is a, um... I would say hyperbole, but it isn't even good. There's just a lie. It's a lie. Uh, they're also, they represent new and upcoming composer, singers, and songwriters, also known as ChatGPT. And they also are from St. Louis, Missouri. Middle of the country, middle American values here. Yes, the core American values of vaping, Mare of Jaina, and pounds of cocaine. But what really interested me was when I scrolled down on the website and they just straight up tell you who they are. We have Scott Hart who made some amazing songs like Playing Fortnite, Truth Be Told, and Grace and Maggie. Let's just click on Playing Fortnite. What is this one? I'm playing Fortnite with friends on a big screen sing kids back to the lobby and grab loot in between. I'm playing Fortnite. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's... Hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Moving on, we have Hans Boss, who <laughs> sounds like a Minecraft disc. Who would have thought Hans Boss carries a degree in electrical engineering from Washington University? Probably because he coded the bot. What did he make? <laughs> Fucking phone ringtone? What is this? Sounds like 
the background music of like a third rate iPhone game that probably steals your data and leaks your address to every terrorist group if you download it. There's also Rafael Amorazzo and Scott O'Claus, but I was gonna include me listening to parts that they've made, but I unironically was passing out while it was just. It's like classical music and phone ringtones. That's all it was. Really promising and basically par for the course stuff that you'd expect to see from people who made um, Coke Cup Friend Adventure and 10 Drunk Cigarettes, also known as 13 Lines of Cocaine. So what do I think this is? I think it's a goddamn troll. I think these people made this with the intention of getting clicks online because it sounds absurd. 10 Drug Cigarettes is their most viewed song by an extra a million and a half views. So clearly the idea was make a dumbass song about 13 lines of cocaine because that's what girls love. They love cocaine. They love being on cocaine. And then try and post it online, get people to laugh and point at it like I just did now and gain some publicity from it. And you know what? I got a laugh. They got a laugh. They probably made some money. I might make a dollar or two from this video. Who cares? I hope you enjoyed as well though. I'm probably gonna hit the road though. I want to make this a short one because it's my mom's birthday today. So if you want to wish my mom a happy birthday, let me know in the comments down below wish her a happy birthday in the comments down below let me know if you're wishing a sorry grammar can be a difficult thing sometimes english is only my first language but thank you for being here i'll see you whatever i make next subscribe if you are new like the video if you liked it or if you didn't like it also like the video because i said so thank you for being here and as always adios arrivederci goodbye good night and i'm gonna go buy my mom 13 lines of cocaine